Thousands of WooCommerce stores are quietly losing sales, but most owners don't even realize it. The checkout looks fine, but if it's running on outdated shortcode technology, you could be losing customers right at the payment page. In this video, I'll show you two quick fixes that can have a big, big impact on your revenue. First, WooCommerce's new checkout, it looks almost identical to the old one, but behind the scenes, it's faster, smoother, and already testing better. Second, something I'll show you after the checkout that could be even more powerful. Let's dive in. I'm going to show you how to customize the checkout page using the WooCommerce checkout block. First navigate to pages and click all pages. Now find your checkout page, it's normally labeled checkout. Hover over the title and click edit. The page editor will load and you'll see a shortcode block. This is what currently displays the default checkout form. We're gonna replace it with the new WooCommerce checkout block. Now type forward slash followed by checkout to quickly add the new block. Select the checkout block from the list that appears. You'll see the new block immediately shows a much more modern checkout form. On the right, you'll see a settings panel. And if you don't see it, click the gear icon in the top right corner. The new checkout block is actually made up of smaller nested blocks. You can click on each of these to customize their settings individually. For example, let's look at the contact information section. You can see the fields listed here. If you click on the company field, you can change its status from optional to required or even hidden. And you can do this for any of the other fields as well, like the phone number. The block also includes a live preview feature. As you make changes in the settings panel, you can see how they'll look on the live page. Let's explore some of the other blocks. The checkout block automatically includes an order summary block and a shipping address block. You can customize each of these in the same way. Clicking on the shipping options block shows you where you can configure things like shipping rates. This is typically done within the WooCommerce settings, but the block gives you a direct link. The payment options block controls which payment methods are displayed. You can also add more options or edit existing ones like cash on delivery. Finally, the terms and conditions block is crucial for ensuring customers agree to your store's policies before completing a purchase. You can either link to an existing terms and conditions page or type the text directly into the block. You can even add a privacy policy right into the block. Once you're happy with your changes, click update in the top right corner to save the page. And that's it, you successfully customize your checkout page using the WooCommerce blocks. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to set up an automated abandoned cart workflow using OmniSend who have kindly sponsored this video. Did you know that over 70% of all online shopping carts are abandoned? That's a massive amount of lost revenue. But with automation, we can turn those missed sales into conversions. The automation we'll set up is a special abandoned cart workflow. It's a great idea because abandoned cart emails have an incredibly high open rate and over half the people who click a link in one will go on to complete their purchase. To get started, you just need to install the OmniSend plugin and link it to your website. Once that's set up, you're ready to build automations. OmniSend is an email and SMS marketing platform that makes it really straightforward to build automations. Think of automations as little workflows that run in the background. They save you from sending one-off campaigns manually and instead make sure your subscribers get the right message at the right time. The starting point for any automation is a trigger. For example, when somebody signs up to your newsletter, that can trigger a welcome series. Or if someone abandons their shopping cart, that can trigger a reminder email. OmniSend gives you a whole library of pre-built triggers and workflows, but you can also customize them to suit your business. Once you've chosen your trigger, the next step is deciding what happens. That might be sending a welcome email, or it could be a whole sequence spread out over days. You can even add conditions. For instance, only send the second email if they open the first one. It's all about guiding people through a journey in a way that feels natural. One of the things I really like about OmniSend is that it doesn't just handle email, you can build in SMS messages too. That means your automations can move across channels. Maybe the first contact is an email and if someone doesn't respond, they get a friendly text instead. And the final piece is timing. You get to choose whether a message goes out instantly after a delay or at a specific time of day. That way you're not waking people up at midnight and your messages arrive when they're most likely to be read. So that's the essence of setting up an automation in OmniSend. Choose a trigger, design the flow, mix in emails or texts and set the timing. Once it's live, the system just runs it all for you, making sure your audience gets the right communication without you having to lift a finger. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that saves you lots of money or makes you lots more money, actually. If you did find that useful, if you can click the like button, that'd be amazing because it does spread the word and more people will get to see this video. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. Beep.